Welcome back. Today we're going to be reading Little Ballet Star by Adele Garaz and Shirley McNollison. I'm so excited. I could burst. Today is my birthday and I'm going to the theatre to see a ballet from the fairy tale The Sleeping Beauty. My auntie Gina is a ballerina and she's taking me backstage before the show as a special treat. Backstage, some of the dancers are practicing their steps. If you put on your ballet shoes, you can join in, says Auntie Gina. I love my ballet shoes. They make my feet feel sparkly. I do my plies and my very best good toes, naughty toes. I twirl and I spin. Everyone claps. Auntie Gina takes me to the dressing room. Three pretty ballerinas are putting on makeup. One of them strokes some blusher onto my cheeks. I look like a pink apple. Then we go to the wardrobe department, where the costumes are kept. Happy birthday, Tilly, says Margie, the wardrobe mistress. Would you like to try this on? Oh, lovely. Yes, please, I say. She helps me into a fairy costume and I twirl in front of the mirror. Next, we go downstairs. These are the wings where the dancers wait until it's time to go on stage, says Auntie Gina. I tiptoe, tiptoe in my pink shoes. The stage is so big and the lights are dazzle bright. They make me blink and feel hot. The scenery is a huge, beautiful painting of Sleeping Beauty's fairy tale palace. It looks almost real. I can hear music coming from behind the curtains. I peep at the orchestra, turning, tuning their instruments, making funny noises before they play the proper music. The rows of seats are filling up with people, and I can see Mum. Auntie Gina says, The ballet's about to start, Tilly. You can sit with your mum to watch the show. Mum asks me if I've had a lovely time, and I start to tell her about it, but then the lights go out. I'm so excited. I can hide, hardly breathe. Music fills the whole theatre, and it feels like something magical is about to happen. Then the fairies run onto the stage. They're wearing their pretty tutus, and there's Auntie Gina. Auntie Gina is the most important ballerina of all. She's Sleeping Beauty. Her headdress has pale lilac roses on it and her tutu glitters and sparkles. The music makes me want to dance too. Everyone claps when the ballet is finished, but I clap the loudest. I wish I could see it all over again. Then Auntie Gina steps through the closed curtain and comes to the front of the stage. We have a birthday girl in the audience today, she says, and it just so happens that she's a little ballerina. Come up here, Tilly, darling. I'm going up there, up on stage. The curtains open again and Auntie Gina says, let's do a special birthday dance together. I've got butterflies in my tummy. Then the music starts and I'm dancing and twirling and flitting and floating. I want to shout, I'm dancing on a real stage. I'm dancing like a ballerina. Then the orchestra plays happy birthday and I do my very best curtsy ever. Everyone claps and claps. I'm so happy I could jump. Auntie Gina gives me her headdress. A birthday present for you, Tilly, she says. You're a wonderful ballerina. I give her a big hug and say, thank you, Auntie Gina. Dad's waiting for Mum and me outside the theatre. He picks me up and carries me all the way to the car. I'm very tired, I say as I close my eyes. You're our very own sleeping beauty, says Dad. I'm going to dream of the ballet tonight. I just know I am. The end. Well done for listening to the story. Don't forget to like and subscribe and be ready for more stories with Benny. Bye bye.